this video, we're going to show you how quick and easy it is to install and set up the EtherHall 600 point-to-point -point 1 gig radio link. Let's start by boiling water for the morning coffee before starting our day. These are the tools you'll need for the installation. A digital voltmeter with standard probes. A 7mm or 17 64 inch hex socket or equivalent open end wrench to mount the bracket and align the outdoor unit. A medium head Phillips screwdriver to ground the outdoor unit. And a 13mm or half inch hex socket or equivalent open wrench to open the ODU caps. The mounting bracket is packed in a separate box and already assembled for use. The bracket is suitable for any pole size between 1 inch up to 12 inches using the proper bands to hold it. We supply two scalable self-locking bands in the box, suitable to a maximum 12 inch diameter. In order to allow the antenna to move freely during the alignment, unlock both the azimuth and the elevation lock bolts. That's a total of seven bolts. Then, center the azimuth and elevation adjustment by turning the bolts to the middle of the scale. For the elevation, that will be 0, and for the azimuth, 10. Install the mounting bracket to a fixed and stable reinforced steel mounting pole using the correct bands according to the pole diameter. Unpack the ODU and its accessories. Note that the antenna dome is treated with a hydrophobic coating designed to repel rain. Use special care to avoid damaging or scratching this coating. Here is the EtherHall 600T ODU front panel. Use the port designated PWR to connect the ODU to a DC power supply in the 36 to 57 volt range. The other three ports are 1 gig Ethernet interfaces. A reset button is located in the ETH2 port. Pressing the push button for less than 5 seconds will reset the ODU. Pressing it for 10 seconds will clear the ODU settings to the factory default. Attach the ODU to the bracket by fastening the three hex bolts at the upper left side of the ODU to the mounting kit. At this point, the ODU should be pointing roughly in the direction of the remote ODU. Perform a visual line of sight check to confirm this. The ODU must be grounded using a copper cable of at least 16 AWG and in accordance with local electrical codes. All cables connected to the ODU should be shielded and terminated by metallic connectors. They should be outdoor graded with category 5 or 6 UV protection. A DC connector is shipped with each ODU. Use a 2mm flathead screwdriver to connect a dual copper cable to this connector. Connect only the minus and plus leads. Use the PWR port to connect the ODU to the DC power supply. Three sets of protective all-weather shells are provided in each ODU box. Each fits a different cable diameter ranging from 3.5 mm to 9 mm. Select a rubber gasket that best fits the cable diameter. Note the rubber gasket is spliced and can be assembled on cables with connectors. Secure the all-weather shell by hand only. Do not use tools to lock it. Now you can power up the ODU safely. The power LED illuminates red and then blinks green until the ODU is fully booted, a process which takes about 90 seconds. Using the Phillips screwdriver, unscrew the alignment pin to switch the ODU into alignment mode. The RF LED should turn orange. Insert the digital voltmeter probes into the dedicated sockets at the top of the ODU in order to read the RSSI level from the remote ODU. To align the antenna, use the 7mm or 17 64 inch hex socket or suitable open end wrench. Alternatively, the medium head Phillips can be used. Before proceeding, Ensure that the far end ODU is also in alignment mode. The azimuth and elevation are adjusted by using the dedicated adjustment bolts. Sweep over both azimuth and elevation so that the antenna's main lobe is pointing at the remote ODU with the strongest signal measured. 
In order to read the received signal strength indication, RSSI, set the digital voltmeter to measure DC voltage. The voltage reading will be between 0 and 1 volt, indicating the RSSI is in dBm. The voltage reading is equivalent to the received signal. For example, a reading of 0.35 volt is equivalent to an RSSI of minus 35 dBm. The objective in aligning the antenna is to achieve an RSSI which is in line with the pre-calculated RSSI value derived from the link analysis. The target is reached when the RSSI is within plus minus 4 dB of the pre-calculated RSSI value. Once the optimum position has been reached, tighten and lock all bolts. Use the DVM to verify that the RSSI has not changed after locking all the bolts. Remember to plug the alignment pin back into its socket before resetting the ODU. Now, when both antennas are aligned and locked, reboot both local and far-end ODUs by unplugging and replugging the power. The ODUs will revert back to adaptive mode, which is the default operational mode. The RF LED on both ODUs should illuminate green, indicating that the radio link is up. Any kind of data can now be transparently streamed over the radio link. Now we can go back and check if the water is already boiled for our coffee. Just before we check on the water for our coffee, a couple of words about mounting the bracket to overcome a large height difference between the ODUs. In some cases where there is a large height difference between sites, we have the option of rotating the mounting kit upside down to gain up to 60 degrees more of elevation. This will allow plus 10 to minus 60 degrees installation. Dismantle the three bolts from their default position and fasten them on the opposite lower side. Attach the ODU to the mounting bracket, making sure that all three bolts are fastened tightly. Now let's go see if the water for our coffee is ready. Wow, I see the water has just begun to boil and we've already finished installing this EtherHall 600T. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please visit our website at cclue.com.